Hi there everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I just want to show you guys the difference between a roller block here and a non-roller block down there. Let's go check them out. Okay, so behind me here are uh, two small block Chevy engine blocks. Uh, one is a 383 short block and uh, I'll get into all that in a later episode because it's uh, for another project we have going on. And uh, down below me there is another small block Chevy that's a 400 cubic inch block. Um, they're both from vastly different years here, um, but the uh, the biggest difference between the two blocks is one's a hydraulic roller, one's not a hydraulic roller block. Um, so the easiest way to tell, obviously, is by looking up the casting numbers, which are on the back here. And if those aren't visible, um, which, you know, there's a lot of scenarios where they've been maybe ground off or they're just covered in grease and grime and you guys don't want to scrape it off, uh, there's a couple of different ways you can tell. Uh, just by the uh, differences in the blocks. In a lot of these videos, uh, I, I actually tend to make them because I'm trying to answer a question myself. And in this uh, scenario here, this was a, uh, a block that we're planning on building for uh, a specific project. <clears throat> and we're trying to decide what uh, camshaft we want to put in it. Uh, we know we want to go with a hydraulic roller cam, um, but we weren't sure if we needed a retrofit cam or just a standard cam because you can run hydraulic roller cams and non-roller blocks down there you just need the, uh, the little attachment between the two lifters so they don't rotate in the bore. Um, with a stock one, you can run the girdle and um, that will lock in the lifters for you. So in 1986, they began making these uh, hydraulic roller blocks here. Uh, in 1986, however, they still came with flat tabbit cams, but from 1987 and above, they came uh, stock with hydraulic roller cams. Um, now all of the blocks from 86 and up, they all have a one piece rear main seal. That's the, the big difference that you can tell right away. And I'll show you guys that here in one second. Um, but there are a couple different other key uh, differences that you can tell here. And uh, let me go ahead and set up this camera here and I'll show you guys. Okay, so one of the first things you can look for on these roller blocks is in the, uh, the oil valley here. Uh, you can see that there are a couple drilled holes, three of them right here. And this is where your, uh, your girdle will go that will hold these lifters in place. Now let me show you the non-roller block and show you how there's none. Moving on to the valley here, uh, you can see that there are no drilled or tapped holes alongside the middle here, so there's nowhere to put a girdle. Another big difference for the roller blocks right here, you can see the normal three holes for the, uh, the plugs, but you can see two extra holes here that are tapped, and that's for a cam retainer plate. Now the uh, non-roller blocks will not have that, and let me go show you the comparison. Um, so looking at the front here, uh, you can see, as compared to the uh, roller block, there are no extra tapped holes here. Just your standard three holes for your, uh, your plugs. Okay, another big difference you can see here on the roller block is looking at the lifter boards here. These are physically higher than the uh, non-roller block. And just for a rough estimate here, we can take a measurement there. And we get... If you guys can see that, 0.98 of an inch, which is pretty roughly uh, what it's supposed to be. Now let me show you the measurement on the non-roller block. Okay, and like I said and showed you guys in the roller block, you can see that the actual height of the bore for the uh, lifter, where the lifter sits in here, is uh, much, much shorter. So I'll try to get a rough estimate again on how high it is. Let's just say right about there. And that is saying, if you guys can read that, 0.575 of an inch. So quite a big uh, difference there. And if anyone's ever messed with these blocks, you know that the, uh, the lifters, when they sit in here, if you're on uh, just using rain, uh, standard flat tappets that came with a block like this, they look totally fine. Um, but if you put flat tappets in a roller block like I have up there, they just look goofy. They sit deep down in that hole but uh, I've never had anything fail whenever I'm using that. Okay, so probably the most obvious difference between a roller and non-roller block is, as you can see, this one-piece rear main seal here. A standard roller block has a two-piece main seal, and I'll try to show you guys that, but I can't promise that block's very heavy, and I don't want to kill my back. <laughs> okay, so the last thing here, looking at the rear of the block, you can see that this is a two-piece rear main seal instead of the one-piece like I showed you on the roller block. All right, everybody, that is what you have to look for if you're trying to determine if your block is a hydraulic roller block or a non-roller block. Uh, hopefully this helps somebody out. 
I appreciate you guys watching all this stuff. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you guys want to stay up to date with all the project cards here. And uh, if you guys want to see what this short block will go into. Um, but thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.